let me let me just start with by asking you um how you're feeling after today because obviously you've probably had a lot of of attention today and a lot of kind <laughs> of interest so how's that been it's been a little bit overwhelming honestly having so much of it but i've honestly loved it i loved going on loose women earlier i've loved everything i've done today all the praise for this show all the love and attention it's getting i've loved it all i mean do you reckon i mean how everyone seems to have just like completely um you know responded really really well to it so how, how has that been there hasn't i haven't seen any kind of negative feedback at all it's been, it's been great honestly i've I was always nervous going to season three if it would live up to what people have hoped from season one and season two. But I feel like from the reaction, it seems like it's not lived up to it, but almost surpassed it in how much people love it. So that's just been great to hear. Do you know what? As as someone who loves it as well, you know, I was kind of surprised at my own reaction because I was expecting this big kind of, you know, some some sort of like dramatic scene where everyone gets shot. And do you know, do you know what I mean? Like everyone sort of... Yeah. But what we got was like just almost like an understated but just massively powerful final so you know and and everyone's reacted so well to that so you must be thrilled with mm. that that kind of response it definitely was a big risk going with not what people had expected like you said obviously people went in thinking oh there's gonna be a massive final showdown all all the police all the mob everything but when we had then it was a risk taking it instead of going big and over the top, down to a more personal level, to the two most important people in the show. And I really love that decision. I feel like a lot of people have liked that decision more. Absolutely. I think I think you're completely right. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, it's not like the episode didn't have drama. It had a lot of it, but it was just, you know, yeah. it kind of wound down by the end and we got this sort of intense scene. Um do you do you were you kind of happy with the way things were left with your character? Did you were you ever kind of worried that sh- you Ryan might be written as kind of a bit of a tear away who takes after his dad more? But did that ever sort of cross your mind before you went into the series? Going into season three, I wasn't really sure about Ryan's character because Ryan's character is one of the characters who's changed the most in the different in the um, time gap between season two and season three. So going into it, I honestly wasn't sure what to expect of Ryan. But I feel like, obviously I believed in Sally, but if she did write it, she'd write it in a perfectly believable way. And I feel like what she's done, it's been really believable. And it makes you believe that you could go from this character to this character without massive leaps in logic. It seems like a natural progression for the character, which she's done really well. I agree. And, you know... I know that I know that you've been asked this a lot, and today you you know you you said that you know there are no plans for any further Happy Valley. And I, oh. I, get, I get that. I won't ask you again. I won't sort of bang on about that because, in a way, I agree because it kind of ended so perfectly. Why would you kind of want to yeah. carry on? But there has been a lot of like, yeah. <laughs> but there has been a lot of kind of you know. At the end there, it was like Ryan could be a policeman, you know. So what if yeah. what if Sally, who literally waited seven years for you to kind of get older, um, what what if she came to you in another seven years and was like, right, <laughs> I'm going to do this spin off, and you're now the the main police. It's not Happy Valley. It's like called something different, but it's the same character. What would you say to that? If Sally asked me to do pretty much any role again, I would be completely up for it. Like I said, as of now, th- let me say this clear. I don't want anything out of context. There are no plans for season four. As of now, Sally is completely happy with how, he's, how she's left the series. But like you said, in seven years, Sally came to me and said, oh, do you want to play Do you want to play Ryan seven years on when he's a police officer? You know, him and Chesco were inspectors or something. I would absolutely do that without a second, without a heartbeat. I would 100% go for it. I would love to play this character again. I mean, that's the answer the nation wants to hear, surely. <laughs> yeah, but sadly, it doesn't seem like it's happening, but, you know, we can all live in hope. You never know. You just don't know what seven years you can never know. happen in seven years. Um, well, and so what about you? Uh, just a couple more questions, and then I'll kind of let you get on with your evening. But what, what, are, you, fine, uh, what are you, um, 
you know, because I noticed I follow you on Instagram and I, think I followed you a couple of weeks ago and you had like a couple of thousand followers. And now I think you've just exploded overnight and there must be so much, <laughs> so much attention. And like, so what do you hope to do next? What what kind of might come, come up next for you? Um, I am definitely looking to continue in my acting career. I feel like I've learned so much from Happy Valley and gained so much experience in Happy Valley and grown as an actor. And I do think I definitely want to continue this career path. Like right now I'm going for more auditions. I have some auditions coming in. I'm giving 110% into all of them. I'm hoping more jobs come up because this is absolutely the career path I want to follow. It must have been like a really incredible like thing to not only um, have a, be in a thing, be in a show that you could almost grow up in and gives you that space and that time. Um, because you know a lot of series they like film year after year after year and then they stop whereas this one you know has given you so much space and time and you've learned obviously mm. so many amazing actors that must have really kind of developed you as a as a actor 100% completely agree I've learned so much from this series every single series I've grown so much as an actor even if it is just from series one simply learning not to look at the camera I've grown as an actor and I feel like in series three, the most out of all of them, I've gained just so much experience that I can use in other acting roles that it would be a waste not to go into more, more roles. So I'm completely looking forward to it. Was it kind of harrowing as a kid to kind of be in such a gritty drama where, I mean, like those scenes on the boat with the petrol and all that business, you know, was that quite, did that, how was that? Um, it was honestly better than most people think because me and James Norton, we get along really well and we always kept it really light on set. I was never scared of him or anything, even when I should have been because he's pretty terrifying. <laughs> I was never scared of him because I knew how nice he was off set and as soon as the camera stopped rolling, we'd be off throwing paper planes. So it was never like a, a scary environment for me. We always kept it light. We always kept it fun. And then when we had to do the dark scene, we do it and then carry on. And what about Sarah Lancashire? Like, you must have learned so much from her. Yeah, honestly, incredible. She's so, she's just incredibly supportive on set. She looks after everyone, li literally everyone on set knows that she looks after everyone. She's incredibly helpful and supportive on set. If I ever forget a single line, she'll be over there to help without a second's notice. I mean, what do you think yeah. about... She deserves, like, a damehood, right? Absolutely, 100%. More than deserved. Would you mind saying that without, as if you're... Would you say that as if I haven't asked the question? Do you see what I mean? Like, answering the question, like, would you actually say she deserves a damehood? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Um, so. Yes, yeah, Sarah Lank is absolutely brilliant. She's, if anyone's deserving of a damehood, it's a... Honestly, so supportive on set. The loving care she's put into this series is absolutely unrivaled by anyone. It's just incredible. Fantastic. That's that's the quote. That's fantastic. Um, well, there's there's so many good quotes on this. Um, my <laughs> last my last question, I think, then would be, um, you know, obviously the show is over, blah, blah, blah. Will you will you keep in touch with everyone? I think I saw an Instagram post of yours where, <clears throat> I saw, I don't know, I think I saw one of your Instagram posts <laughs> where you were like, um, you know, it's like you've built a family here. So, you know, I presume you'll just all stay in touch and it'll, it'll be something special for you all. Yeah, I, I definitely plan on staying in touch with them. And I, don't, I still did keep in touch with all of them, even from the break from season two to three. I still send them messages at Christmas. I still call Siobhan my auntie Shiv. <laughs> um, yeah, I completely intend to stay in touch with all of them. Yeah, no, amazing. And I honestly, I think you're all just incredible. I'm going to miss it. I really am going to miss this show. <laughs> Even though yeah. it's quite like dark and stuff. I just think, you know, it's 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 an amazing thing.